What is this? Eat this! This voice, could it possibly be Sir Warichu? What? You mean that giant mouse? No way, that's the rat. He looks like a final boss. Yeah, not possible. What kind of magic would you have to use to turn this rat into that monster? Oh, could it be because he was friend-zoned? Uh, of course not! But whatever it is, I didn't expect Bisha to be the first to rush over here. When did she get over her intense fear of monsters? I bet she saw the children being attacked and shook off her trauma just like a real hero would. Let's go back her up! Newcomers? Whoa, that was pretty rough. Hey, Bisha, I'm not the enemy. Lady Neptune, don't get careless and don't get too close to her. Huh? It seems Sir Warichu isn't the only one acting strange. W what do you mean? What? More newcomers? I'll turn any monsters in front of me into meat chunks. <laughs> Don't run away! I'm gonna kill all the monsters! Kill them! Kill them! Yikes! She's gone completely bonkers! Her change is crazier than blonde's! Judging by her behavior, it's possible she views us all as enemy monsters. And this may not be limited to us. Does that mean she could look at anybody and think they're a meanie monster? Most likely. If that's the case, this is gonna be troublesome. It'd be fine if Bisha was just fighting the rat, but if we get in the middle of them, both of them might direct their attacks towards us. Right. We'll need to separate them somehow. But what would we do afterwards? If we don't know what's causing them to do this, then we won't be able to treat either of them. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with Bisha's fear of monsters, but it's hard to imagine that she'd take it this far. Chuko? It's too dangerous for you to be out here! Do you know how those two ended up like this? That girl had come chasing after Warichu! Who are you? That's not important. I'm here to help you overcome your fear of monsters. Although, you might find my methods... extreme. Huh? What do you mean? Let's see... Why don't we start with you, Mr. Adorable Little Mouse? What? Hey, watch out! Ch Ch uh, monster! What should I do? Uh, I gotta run away. But if I ran away now... Are you scared? Uh, uh-huh. But if you were to run away, the city would end up in quite a terrible predicament, wouldn't it? Are you okay with that happening? Uh, I know. I really do, but my legs, my whole body's shaking. I see. What you need is a little more motivation. Novel way to recall an event, flashing back in time and showing us what happened instead of merely summarizing it. The mysterious girl that came up during the story bothers me. I wonder who she is. Besides, even if we know what's causing it, what do we do? That's easy. We'll just fight both of them and knock them both unconscious. It's all we have right now. In order to minimize damage to the city and its citizens, they both need to be subdued. 
If taking them down doesn't change them, they'll at least be out cold and we can figure out what our next move should be. Understood. Then allow me to draw Sir Warichu away. In the meantime, you and the others can take care of the other one. All right. This is a bit of a tough opponent for you to fight. But you're fine, right, Nep? I'm aware, and yes, I'm ready to go. Besides, I'm sure she didn't wish this upon herself either. It's the duty of a friend to stop her. What? Even though you're just an ignorant monster, you actually want to fight? Be sure. I'm gonna show you that you're nothing but meat chunks when you try to stand against me! Go, 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 go. 
How's this? You saved me. Can't Thanks. wait, can't wait! I'm grateful. My turn! Log Delphinus! I'll return twice the favor! I'll make you own up! Leave this to me!
Instead of gold third? You're not bad yourself for a monster. Bisha, please come to your senses. Can you not see? Look at our planet tune. Look at all of the terrified children fleeing. Children? If you think a monster can deceive me, you got another thing coming. Everyone here's a monster. Monsters are enemies of the children. Their enemies are my enemies, so all of them have to die. Why won't my voice reach you? Steamax? Regrets. This is bad. The rat's headed towards the city. <laughs> it's a monster! <laughs> Help me! Mommy! What can I do in this situation? Is she reacting to the children's voices? Lady Bisha! Chuko? Don't get close to Bisha right now! She's dangerous! I can't be bothered with that at a time like this! We need Presto Mask's powers in order to save my child customers! If the children, my main customer base, are lost, then... Oh, she, she really is a shrewd business mouse. I had to help them! Save the kids! From the monsters! I have to! Crystal Mask has to save them! But monsters are... Please, listen, Bisha. Everyone is scared of monsters. Even I'm scared of them. But you don't have to force yourself to overcome your fears. I know you have the courage to accept them instead. Accept my fears? I see. It's all right if I'm afraid. Yes, if you don't know fear, then you can't be a hero. Now that Beesh has come to her senses, all that's left is that rat monster. Then let's hurry. Beesha, are you all right in that state? Please don't push yourself. Even if it's pushing myself, I can't rest. This is exactly the time when a hero needs to appear. It's starting to get a little painful.
to think he would have this much strength. Sorry to keep you waiting, Steamats. Lady Neptune and Lady Bisha, it seems you've returned to normal. Yes, it's all thanks to you for luring that rat away. Bisha, if it's too much, then... I I'm fine. It was just so sudden I got a little surprised. Still, getting a good look up close, he's really huge. Anybody would be scared of this, right? But I won't run anymore, and I no longer need this mask. To hide the fact that I was scared, I wore a mask and pretended to be a hero. But no matter how long I kept the mask on, or how much gold and power I carried, nothing matters unless I change myself! So as a first step towards change, I'm not running away from you! Well said, Bisha. Allow me to take the first step with you. Let us have our premier Gold Third and CPU United Front. in an instant. Who's the Those target? who hesitate will lose. Get out of my way! Going all out! Who's my opponent? Let's get fired up for the help! Been waiting, I'm all ready. Come on, fight! Hey! 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 This is Bisha. I've captured the enemy. My turn. I'll attack head on. Bisha, do your best.
misstep yet again. Nice! I did it! But I'll try even harder from now. Did we do it? Yes, we've won. We did it. We won. I didn't run away from a monster. Aisha? It's all right. She really gave it her all. She's just fatigued. I see. That's a good thing. Bell, doesn't it? This is a misunderstanding. This is all that broad fault. I didn't go on a rampage because I wanted to. You think we'd fall for such an obvious lie? It's not a lie. The urge to go wild welled up from the depths of my cool guy heart. Could you explain in full detail, please? Eastwar, why are you here? I wanted to come see what all the commotion was about. It appears everything is already resolved. Now then, your name is Wadichu, yes? Without a doubt, what ultimately changed your appearance was the delusion phenomenon. This anomaly occurring in game industry has been shrouded in mystery, but we may now be able to make sense of it. You saying you want to use me as some stupid guinea pig? I know I'm a rodent, but I'm not into that game. You got the wrong... Has Isti transformed into some fiendish, deranged, mad scientist type character? She was the only character with common sense in this game. How could the writers let this happen? Neptune, I have not turned into such a character. I just wish for his assistance in shedding light on this delusionary epidemic. Oh, why didn't you say it that way? I thought you were getting ready to dissect him. Neptune aside, what do you think? If you decide to assist us, I'll pardon you for some of the incidents and uproar you've caused. Of course, we will only suspend your sentence. I don't know. My pride doesn't want to allow me to help out at a crummy basilicom. As someone who's rotten to the core, being an outlaw suits me. I see. In that case, you will forfeit 10 billion credits for damages inflicted upon Planetum and you will be placed in custody immediately. Ten billion? How disappointing. I would have accepted your assistance as ample compensation. I was willing to lift all charges and grant you a reprieve. Ugh. He's thinking about it. He definitely got spooked by those digits. In fact, right now, Kampa is living at the Basilicom, so you would have constant access to her delicious meals three times a day. You serious, Chu? Then I warrant you swear in the name of all might that I'll help the best I can. Have you no pride, little rat? Come on, let's hurry to the Basilicom to do some research on the delusionary effect. As usual, he flips like a coin. By the way, where did the ninja go? He was just here, but now he's gone. You're right. He suddenly vanished. Using the confusion of the moment to escape, as expected of a ninja. How dirty. It's annoying we couldn't catch him, but it's enough that we know he's a member of Affimax. Agreed. Furthermore, if we can discover the truth, a method of retaliation will become clear. Now I am certain everyone is exhausted. So let us all return to the Basilicom. You have all done a wonderful job.
go. Don't worry. that was stolen. D uh, uh, um, do I have to hand it over now? Well, now that we have knowledge of Affimax's target, we should store it in a secure location. Right. Of course we should. What's up, Nep? No need to be so hesitant about it. You're not losing anything. Why don't you just hand it over to Eastwar? Nep, Nep. Is it... Um, possible that you broke it? Or maybe you lost it somewhere? Even Nep wouldn't be dumb enough to do that. We just managed to get it back. So I doubt she even had time to break it, let alone lose it. Ooh, if he's slowly closing off my escape routes. Wait, did you seriously lose it? Actually, after all that fighting, I realized it was gone, but I couldn't really spit it out. Why didn't you say so sooner? What are you, some stupid kid afraid of her parents? I thought you guys would get angry. Holy crap, Nep. I seriously can't believe you. I mean, I know that quiet ninja's probably the culprit, but jeez. I F. There is no use fretting over that which has already been stolen. That's right. We have to do something about Affimax so we can just take it back then. It's not that convincing coming from the one who lost it to begin with. You gotta think positively in all aspects of life, Iffy. Do you have some sort of new CPU superpower that makes you piss people off? What you mean? <sighs> Out of curiosity, you see, what are Bisha and Mr. Mouse up to? Bisha is working back at my store right now. Chuko? Goodness, how rude of you to act shocked towards my adorable figure. I'm sorry, but what do you mean by working? Her store is apparently quite popular with the monster citizens, so she is there to slowly become acquainted with them. That's exactly right. She's gotten quite used to being around monsters lately. And thanks to Bisha, there are more human children coming to the shop. So business is booming! That's good to hear. Wait... Chuko, why are you here? That's a... You're here to meet with Wadichu, right? Hey! Why are you answering for me? With Mr. Mouse? Oh no... Did he do something bad again? I thought he might be bored. So I came to offer him a game from my store. If he has real games to play, Maybe he won't be inclined to pirate them as much. That is why she has been coming here every day to bring Wadichu games. That's amazing, Chuko! Do you really think that's all there is to it, Iffy? <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing that's just an afterthought, and she's just coming to see the rat. I see, I see. So could it be, um, you know what? Yep, it's probably... That. Hey, hey, hey! Don't get the wrong idea! Uh, as one who works at a game shop, I'm doing this reluctantly to fight against illegal pirating. For Warichu's own sake! The fact that he saved me once, or that he interests me just a little, it has nothing to do with this! Ah, uh, you...
I have returned. And the target? Right here. Good work. So, this is what she sealed. You have done most well. To reward you, I grant you leave. Rest well. General, what is that thing? It looks like a normal game console. Why have both you and Lady R4 been searching for it so desperately? General? This is information that does not concern you. What? Why can't you tell me? Are we not friends? It's as I said. This does not concern you. If that's how you're going to be, General, then I'll have no other option. Are you attempting to make me confess? I have here an adult book I bought as a souvenir at the convenience store. If you tell me this could be you... I do not need this. What? D General, what did you just say? I, I, I don't need it. Do not make me repeat myself. Th then what about this fanzine? It's extremely rare, and it sold out within the first five minutes of its release yesterday. And its contents are your favorite. Busty blondes. Enough! I said I don't need it! Hmm. Is that all you have to say? Then be gone, Stimax. I am a busy man. I can't afford to waste any more of my time on you. My... Uh, apologies. <laughs>